Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So this here is the final episode of my Fabulous Flowers um, series. I've had really great fun running it and thank you so much to everybody for all your really generous, lovely comments. Um, you know, I really hope that you've all had fun in the series and tried out some new things and maybe, you know, maybe learned some new, new things. I certainly have. Um, and yeah, it was just really good fun to do. So thank you very much. Now, I didn't know how to wind the series up because um, <laughs> when I've done a series before, it's normally been making a journal. And so obviously the series comes to an end when the journal's complete. So I didn't know really how to kind of wind this up other than just saying, that's it, run out of ideas now. So what I thought I would do is um, I would kind of, you know, um, do a final episode where we put everything together that we've kind of done throughout the series. So I've done that in the form of, I have made three little kits here, um, which, you know, uh, contain items that we have made together and kind of learned techniques together through the series. And I have also done a whole journal, um, again, containing and kind of um, utilising some of the things that we've learnt and kind of done together. So... I will show you kind of everything that I've done. Obviously, all of these items are going to be for sale in my Etsy shop. Let me just zoom out because obviously there's quite a bit here to show. Um, they're all going to be listed in my Etsy shop. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was quite a nice way to put everything together and kind of, you know, have a finale where we, you know, literally put everything we've learned together and finish off that way. So I'm going to move the journal to one side and I will start by showing you the three kits so as I say there's three kits they're not identical I don't very often tend to make you know the same item um, because I get kind of bored really so if I just kind of show you them one at a time and then obviously if you wanted one or were interested in one then you know if you just follow the link below to my shop and you'll be able to find them there so I'll just pop them to kind of one side so we do them one at a time so this particular kit, you've got, so the basic concept, sorry, let me just quickly say, the basic concept, all of them contain a little paper bag, basically, and another little packet um, containing various items. And they've all got a flower, um, a puff yo-yo flower attached with a little wooden peg. So that's kind of the similarities there. So this particular kit has got this gorgeous little puff yo-yo. It's a kind of grey toned. It's got a little stick pin in it and obviously lace and the little centre. So that's just held on with the little um, peg. Then you've got this gorgeous wallet. This is one of the background papers from the Fabulous Flowers kit. You've got here a little kind of title um, piece here and some lace, a bit of pearl trim and a couple of flowers. And then here... Utilising kind of one of our techniques by tucking the flap in, using the flowers as a little um, stopper. And then inside here, I've included one of the flowers that we made together. So this was one of the punched flowers that we made. Then you've got one of the paper clips that we made together, the lace with the kind of um, flowers attached. And then one of my little fabric flower pieces, this one I'd made not on video, um, but you know, it's got some uh, hessian, some lace and a little flower and a gem. And I've just mod podged around the hessian to kind of stop it fraying so much. So that's your smaller items. And then inside the larger kind of packet, you've got here one of my hippie hinged um, booklets. So we did make this one together. So it's got obviously the lace to reinforce the trim, but the actual kind of hinge is the fabric flower here. So that's kind of, oops, that's that little item there. Then here you've got one of my little frame pockets. And again, I think we made this one together on one of the episodes. Then here I've just done you a little fold out kind of flip here, just using one of the background papers from the Fabulous Flowers kit and again utilising one of the kind of flower techniques where the flower is operating as a kind of closure for a, you know, for a um, 
well, some cute uh, operating as a closure. Let's just leave it at that, maybe. Um, and then you've got one of my envelope pockets here with the large pockets at the top here. And these gorgeous roses here from um, the vintage book. And it's just got some of that gorgeous ribbon around and lots of stamping. Then here is one of those gorgeous belly bunch, belly bands um, with all the kind of flowers all there, some lace trim. I don't think this was one of the ones that we made together. I think this was one of the ones that I made, um, you know, before I did that episode. But obviously you would just glue it down on either side and pop it into your journal. And then here I just did a little burst in bloom envelope. And this has got a combination of the kind of book, yeah, flowers from the vintage book and also the flowers from um, the little gorgeous girls flower add-on kit. So that's kind of all of the items there um, in kit number one. So I think it's quite a fun kind of kit and kind of summarises quite nicely all of the little bits and bobs that we kind of did together. So that's the first one. I shouldn't really kind of actually redo them all up and things because obviously that's a bit time consuming. So let me just move it to one side without pegging that back on. So the second one here, exactly the same kind of concept. So you've got your small peg holding on this gorgeous um, puffed yo-yo. So you've got a stick pin here, this large um, center, which was actually from a vintage earring. And then you've got obviously lace trim all going around the edge of the flower. Then you've got this wallet, which I think was one that we did make in one of the episodes. And then obviously your paper little packet there as well. So inside of your wallets here, you've got the following items. Hold on. They all will come out. So you've got here couple of the large paper flowers this one was a Tim Holtz one this one was one of the punched flowers that we did you've got one of the fabric flower pieces and then you've got a paper clip here and a fabric flower there so that's those and then inside the kind of paper bag paper pouch you've got here one of my burst in blooms envelopes this was one of the first ones that I made, um, which was a kind of, you know, mock-up kind of to test that it worked. So that's that one. And then you've got a tag here using a flower, obviously, as a tab for the tag. And then you've got, whoops, one of my belly band bunches. So all these gorgeous blue flowers. And then I've just popped on one of my little die cuts of a typewriter. A couple more flowers and some lace trim down the bottom and flowers here with the pearl centres. So again... You would just kind of glue that down at the sides and pop it in like that. And then here I've done um, one of the uh, flower kind of snippet rolls. So what I did was I glued them onto some paper here just very lightly and then I stitched them with the sewing machine. So the back is pretty messy and obviously I just tried to trim the paper around a little bit so it's not kind of showing at the front. But then I stitched on the sewing machine and obviously you've got a couple of other little kind of flowers there as well with some pearls on them. So again, that could just, if I just bring a couple of pages in, that would just glue on, obviously kind of to the side of a page as per a kind of snippet roll. I think I've done it that way up actually. It probably doesn't matter, but you know. So that would just kind of glue onto your page like that obviously I mean actually you could use it as a kind of belly band um either or anyway so that's another kind of item there and then another one of the hippie hinge booklets just opening out there with the little flowers this one's got a little bit missing so I just want to kind of point that out and then obviously the little butterfly there so super cute um little kind of booklet there so really kind of nice little items there all things again that we've kind of done throughout the series that we kind of did together so I will just pop that to the side without kind of spending time putting it all back together and then the final kit 
again same concept so you've got the small wooden peg holding on this gorgeous puffed yo-yo so this one is in ivory tones you've got some pink lace trim around it some pink lace trim here this gorgeous blingy pink center and some eyelash trim so uh, I braved using that and a little bit of pearl trim here so again that's that one and then you've got um, the packet which we did make this together in one of the episodes so obviously you're familiar with how we decorated that it's got this um, what are they called a coin envelope kind of closure Pol policy envelope closure and then here you've got one of the altered paper clips this one is um, one of the ones that we did do in the episode together so that's that one and then you've got one of the Tim Holtz flowers again this is one that we did together so that's that one then one of the little junk journal flowers um, that we did do a tutorial on and then here one of the little fabric embellishments just with a piece of lace and a little flower and a diamante there um, and this one again I've just mod podged around the edge of the hessian just to stop it fraying but I mean look at how pretty that looks against that lovely lilac paper so that's that and then inside the paper kind of pouch here you've got one of the burst in bloom envelopes so again this is one that we did do together then you've got here a little belly band so again the belly bunch um, bands so this is in these gorgeous pink um, flowers so you know again kind of will tie in with your paper clip and things and you know obviously your big puff jojo um, you've got here sentiment today's the day little jug there from my um, die cut printables and then a little butterfly here some lace trim and a little flower and again you would just obviously glue this on down the sides and kind of attach that to your page so that's that one and then I also included again just like in the last kit one of the um, snippet roll uh, florals down there so I did it in exactly the same way in that I st uh, stuck them onto some paper there and stitched them on the sewing machine so the back is tatty um, but the front obviously looks you know pretty and then you've got another couple of paper flowers there with some pearl centers so that's that and again you would just obviously glue that in exactly the same way so you could have it on the edge or like we said just now you could kind of use it as a belly band or you know however kind of you wanted and just kind of demonstrate that's your belly bunch there and then here you've got another one of those booklet um, frames which we I can't remember whether we did this one together or this might have been the one that I did before I came on. Um, it's got some lace trim and a little kind of flower. Again, this is quite thick card. So, you know, you might want to think how you would glue this in, whether you would have it on the covers because, you know, the inside of a cover because it's quite thick or possibly paper clip it in. And I've just included literally just a kind of piece from a book there. Um, which obviously you know you could just back onto some card just so as it had something kind of coordinating really looking through the hole then here you've got one of the hippie hinge booklets so that's just there and then again I just did a little fold out just using a kind of flower there as a closure so that's all of your items for that kit so they're all obviously available in my shop and I just thought they would be a nice kind of way to close down the series and kind of, you know, um, finish it off. And then the other thing that I did was um, I also created a journal using some of the techniques that we've obviously kind of explored in the series as well. So let me bring the journal in. So absolutely love, love, love this journal, how it turned out. Um, I haven't decided on a name yet for this journal, but it might come to me while I'm doing the video. But if not, um, obviously then the, you know, I'll think of a name before I've uploaded it. Um, so the cover of the journal, it's an, you know, A4 envelope, which I've obviously folded over. 
So the front cover is um, basically this gorgeous velvet. I absolutely love velvet and this is in the most beautiful um, midnight blue cover and it's just covered the entire envelope. And then you've got here some gorgeous lace trim, a bit more lace trim here. Some of that beautiful bridal lace, um, some has been coffee dyed, some hasn't. And then here you've got one of these um, fabric uh, flower embellishments that we did in the series. And then this fabulous um, lace ruffle going kind of the entire length down the side. Um, so really, really, really pretty. Now up here I have just attached with a little bulldog clip. i just undo that. One of the fabric flowers um, that I think we made this in an episode or I may, may have made um, a similar one um, but loved it so much I kind of made a second one. Uh, basically I couldn't decide whether or not to pop this on the cover so I love the cover as it is and you know think it's really really pretty. I was toying with whether or not to put this flower on here as well. I didn't want to cover up the fabric flower embellishment so I would have to kind of do it slightly at a side angle so that the little strands didn't cover that. So what I decided was just to clip it on with a little bulldog clip and then the owner can obviously decide whether to pop this flower onto the cover or not. If you wanted to just obviously hot glue it on the back and just pop it down you know where you want to actually pop it onto the cover. Um, but I mean if not obviously you could use it for a different journal or you could pop a little brooch pin on it and have it as a little brooch or something like that. But so that will come with the journal but it just won't be attached. So the journal closure itself is some, <clears throat> some also midnight blue organza ribbon um, which just is you know tying it up and it's just attached underneath the lace trim. So going inside of the journal itself, <laughs> so flowers galore in here. So I love the look of this front cover because we've got obviously the ivory lace from the front cover and it's kind of framing this beautiful royal blue um, lace trim also. So I love the way that looks. I hope the camera can kind of pick that up. It looks really pretty. So on here we've just got one of my um, envelope booklets tied with string where I've got one of my matchbox um, top print printables with some flowers here around it. Um, layered up on some book page and some stamping and then you've got obviously some coffee dyed papers in there for more journaling space and then just a flower on here and a little jug and then inside the envelope I just popped in a little booklet and again it's just got a couple of flowers from the gorgeous girls add-on flower kit um, so that just kind of goes in there have to be kind of careful because it's a bit of a tight squeeze to get it in and that just obviously ties up so then the next kind of um, page has got um, taken inspiration from when we did the fabulous flower episode with the fusion so using the kind of very bright colors um, with the kind of vintage images so I've used here one of the Patricia Viramonte's book page pockets and I've got here a genuine vintage image <clears throat> And then I have kind of fused it together with this beautiful bright blue, royal blue um, flower, which it was a huge flower. I just cut it in half and obviously I've just kind of trimmed it off with this little um, flower trim here, some lace trim and some pearl. One of the little flowers, a bit of um, sewing pattern paper ruffle down there and tucked into this pocket. I've just included a little kind of scraps of some coffee dyed paper as a little pad with some lace trim going across the top. That just tucks in there and this I've done as a pocket so tucked in the top I've just made a little tag from my gorgeous girls kit and then some flowers from the flower add-ons are just stuck on there and it's just obviously coffee dyed card on the back then over the page here we've just got um, some flowers here on some lace we've got this gorgeous printable there from my um, just vintage lady uh, journaling cards some flowers here and then just here we've got a little cigarette card, um, one of the backs of the cigarette cards and we've just used a flower as the tab there for the um, tab for the 
what's the word? It's a journaling card. Then here we've got one of the frame booklets. So we've got obviously all the gorgeous flowers all around the edge. One of my um, principles there, the bird cage, and then inside of the frame, if I can actually get it out, I then just made a little booklet with the hippie hinge kind of idea and some more flowers kind of layered up there. So that just literally tucks in here. And it looked quite pretty because obviously kind of through the frame, oops, you can kind of see the flower. And that's also a tuck spot here for this tag, again, using a flower as a tab at the top. Got some lace trim down the bottom and a little bow. Then going over the page, here we've got obviously one of the flower snippet rolls down the side. Um, so a whole bunch of flowers here, all just oh, looking really, really pretty. And they've just edged off a pocket, which I've done using some vintage sheet music. So it just kind of finishes it off really, really nicely. And I just popped a little kind of um, flower there as well as the kind of die cut ones. And then tucked in there, again, I've used that kind of um, large flower, the other half of it, where I've made a kind of tuck. So this was some vintage book page from that lovely book of verse that Laura had gifted me. And it's actually Go Lovely Rose, which, I mean, I'm presuming that that is actually the, the name of somebody. But obviously for me, I just thought how apt because rose is, you know, flower. And then when you turn the page over, obviously, you've got that gorgeous kind of frame down the bottom. Um, so although it's acting as a tuck spot, I just thought it looked really pretty when you turned it over kind of at the bottom of that book page. So loved how that looked. Now, I will just warn you, this is obviously very, very old book page. So it is quite delicate and I'm not sure how long... Oops how long it's going to last here across the fold um, without cracking but you know I just want to kind of point that out so and that obviously just tucks in like that and you can obviously just hook the little petals out then you've got some plain pages for journaling a matchbox top and a little flower again some more plain pages then here we've got one of those gorgeous envelopes um, with obviously this massive flower on here another little flower and a bow tied around there. So in the top here, I've just popped in again some vintage book page. This was from an awesome book that I managed to pick up um, recently of, it's a naval list. Um, it's from the 70s, very early 70s. I think it was 1971 or two. Um, and it had all the kind of, I think it had all the vessels that they used. It had kind of all the, um, you know, the staff on board and things. So it was kind of quite a fascinating book. And I just thought that was, you know, really nice find. So I just popped that page in there. And then tucked in the side, I've just got one of my principles there where I've just obviously added up some flowers. So it kind of all ties in really nicely. And then we've got some lace trim and some faux diamante down the bottom. And then here on this page, we've got one of those kind of belly bunches. Um, as the belly band so this was one that I did show this has been mod podged all over so it's kind of really nice because it's kind of sheeny um, and then tucked in there I've just got these are some of my little principles from my kind of die cut set and I've just kind of kept them together and just folded along the gaps in between to kind of make them a little kind of pull out booklet this is one of my matchbox tops and again I just popped some flowers on there to kind of tie it into the book but, you know, the belly bunch looks really pretty there. And then here, this is one of our fabric um, flower embellishments. So it's some of the blue velvet um, and then some lace and one of the fussy cut or, yeah, fussy cut flowers. So um, ties in really nicely with the book. And then on this page, I've got here one of the paper clips which we made. Oops, I hope I haven't actually stuck it onto there. No. For a moment I thought I'd actually stuck it down. So this was one of the little paper clips that we made with the kind of decoupaged um, pieces there. So that's that one and it was just holding this little fold out kind of flip shut and on here we've just got kind of again some more flowers layered up and a little kind of um, journaling spot here. So that just goes onto there again Oops. like that. 
I just thought it looked really pretty. And then this is also a little pocket here for a small booklet with some coffee dyed paper there, which I've just kind of tucked up underneath. Here I've just popped a couple of little flowers in the corner just to kind of tie everything in nicely. Then this here, this is one of my kind of um, bunting bouquet um, blossoms up there. So that's the one that I think we actually did that in the video. So it looks really pretty. Obviously it's a bit lumpy because you've got the paper clip underneath. But if you were writing on this page, you could just remove the paper clip and then it would obviously be flatter. Here you've got some vintage sheet music, a bit of stamping on this page, a flower here and a matchbox top, a bit of doily book page and some more dye, uh, coffee dyed paper on here I did just literally a cluster of flowers which I thought just looked so so pretty so this is a mixture of kind of the fabulous flowers kit and the gorgeous girls add-on flowers so I've just clustered them together but used this large one as a kind of tuck spot itself this here I've glued onto the page as well just kind of for more decoration it's from just from my gorgeous girls kit and then again, I've just popped a little fabric flower that I just made down the bottom. So I just thought that looked really pretty. Again, a bit like a kind of bunch of flowers in the corner of the page. And then here I've just popped one of the bird cages with a flower on the top. And then just a piece of coffee dyed paper there um, with a flower on the top kind of corner. So you've got lines there, you could write on that. So the centre of the journal, love this page. So I've got one of my Burst in Blooms envelopes there, all kind of coming out, just looking really, really pretty. I've got the kind of flowers there as the side trim. So another thing we obviously did in the um, series. Got obviously the ribbon here around the kind of bunch of flowers on the Burst in Blooms envelope. And then a little journaling card just tucks into the envelope like that. And then here I've just got another journaling card that tucks behind. So as you can see, it's a kind of double pocket because I just glued it at the side. And then you've got the pocket from the envelope itself. Then here on this page, we've got um, a little flower down here. Again, just kind of um, for continuity really to kind of tie it all together. And then here I just made a little folding kind of booklet. And again, just kind of using another technique from the series where we're just using again, a flower as a little closure then here I just popped in one of these this is for just from some of my journaling card principles and I just again popped a little flower on um, which just helps tie in different pieces to the same you know so they look like they're from the same kit if you see what I mean um, so just taking the flowers kind of helps as a kind of tie-in so um, I just thought that was quite a good way of kind of bringing things together Lots of stamping down the side of this page. And then here we've got another little flower frame as per what we did in the videos. So again, I've just taken some of the fussy cut flowers, popped them on there. And um, on this one, I've just used some acetate uh, as the kind of, you know, the glass kind of thing for the frame. And then just popped in a journaling card where again, I just popped a flower on as a tab. Another flower here and then just some more plain pages for journaling, book page, doily. And then here I've just got one of the paper clips which I think we actually made in one of the videos. So we made this one together and that's just clipping on. So it's actually clipped across the paper and the vintage sheet music. This is just a little kind of folding booklet and again I've just literally popped on some doily and then just a couple of flowers and that just kind of ties it in and kind of just you know just um keeps the theme i suppose running through the entire book then here we've obviously got um a pocket with obviously some layered up images with some flowers and what have you and some ruffle down the side now on this one i tried to do this i'm not sure how well this works i have to be honest um but i just took some paper folded it to kind of form a little fold out and then what i've done i've kind of made this like ribbon kind of closure so i've stuck the top one down with the ribbon underneath it popped a little flower on the end of there and then that flower kind of hooks under there and that keeps that closed so when you undo it you then have a 
kind of whole long kind of flip so it kind of works to a fashion um unfortunately i would have to practice these a few more times but it's kind of it does work but you know this is a little bit prone to kind of slipping out so um you know although it does work it's you know well it, it does work i suppose yeah so anyway that's kind of another little um, technique that I don't think we obviously did do in a video because I wasn't sure quite how successful it was but nonetheless you know you may want to kind of use that um, in your journals then going over the page we've just got a corner tuck spot here um, again we've got some of the flower layering and things we've got some more of that gorgeous blue lace and then in here I've just got um, a little kind of envelope that I just made again using the flower as a little clasp or closure and I just tucked in a little journaling card there that just goes in like that and then on the bottom we've just got obviously a little journaling spot and a little flower down there so it just goes like that and then here we've got again more of the kind of fusion idea so mixing the kind of bright with the vintage or the kind of new with the old so again a a vintage image here some vintage sheet music and then this gorgeous vibrant kind of blue flower which just kind of it just picks up all the blue from everywhere in the book it's really pretty I don't know whether it will come out very well on the camera but in the flesh it looks really pretty and this is an envelope pocket so in the top I've just got a little journaling card that I made that just slots in there like that little flower and then a little postcard where I just popped a flower on there and that just again tucks in the side. Here we've got again another one of those kind of um, fabric flower embellishments. We've got a vintage postage stamp and some blue lace trim. And then here we've got some more blank pages for journaling, some book page. And then here I've just got a little folding flip out. Oops. Like that. Some flowers down here, some more flowers on here with some lace little bit of lace trim up here and a flower up there with again one of those flower demontes then on this page again this is another one of those um, fusions so again some vintage book page vintage sorry vintage sheet music vintage book page and then the bright kind of new of the red and the um, flowers here and then it's just got a bit of lace trim down the bottom and some pearl trim there and then tucked into there again I've just got some more of that gorgeous vintage book page um, and this time it's spring which again I thought was quite apt um, for the flower theme and here matchbox top matchbox top um, and a flower there that just slots back in there here again another one of the belly band bunches or the belly bunches um, this I don't think we made together but I did show it um, so you've got the blooms down the side and then here again you've got one of the bursting blooms envelopes just onto the belly bunch and it's just got a teeny weeny little postcard in there so I just love how that looks that cute tiny envelope has kind of the little um, bursting bloom so hopefully you can kind of see that it just looks really really sweet so that just goes in there and then you've got some lace trim and some faux monte and then tucked in at the top you've just got again another couple of bits with some flowers on and then finally the last page you've got some of the background paper from the fabulous flowers kit and again I've just kind of layered that up with some flowers from the um, gorgeous girls flower add-ons um, just to kind of tie it all together some lace trim down the side a little flower here and then here um, a little tag just where you've got some flowers kind of around on there and then on the inside of the back cover we've got one of the punched out flowers that we made together um, in the tutorial so that's how that looks kind of being used in the book some of the blue lace trim I just did that at a curve thought it looked really pretty again more of that background page here um, and some of the red flowers there and then tucked in we've just got this is some um, vintage ephemera it's a copy of some vintage ephemera and I just literally popped on some of the flowers so again just super easy way to use flowers just mixing them with your old vintage kind of ephemera and they just then you know bring it to life otherwise it's just a kind of boring piece of paper um, so love how that looks 
So that just goes in there in that pocket and then we're done. So, you know, incorporated loads and loads of techniques that we used, um, you know, kind of lots of different things in that journal that kind of hopefully, you know, kind of maybe are new things or, you know, things that we haven't seen before. Um, so, as I say, it's all listed in my Etsy shop and that obviously brings the series to a close so thank you again everybody for watching and supporting my series i really hope that you all enjoyed it and had fun like i did and thank you very much i will probably give you know doing a series a rest for a little while now um i will still be doing videos but not in a series because they're you know very time consuming and kind of make you neglect kind of other things really um you know housework my husband would say <laughs> so um yeah thank you very much for watching and i will see you again soon so thanks ever so much and have fun bye